The cycle frontier can be very confusing and that's why you need this video of 20 plus tips in order to succeed in the cycle frontier. Enjoy. Okay, so starting off in the main hub, there are three factions that you gotta know about. First, you have ICA. You have Osiris, and you also have Korolev. Each faction has some unique items that you can buy just from that faction. Starting off with ICA. ICA is the only faction that offers data drives if you need them for missions, which you're gonna need them in the early game for those missions. ICA also has the best starter shotgun in the game. It's called the Bulldog. You get really early on. I love the gun. It shreds, kids. You can also buy audio decoys and gas grenades from the ICA. Now at Osiris, Osiris is known for their medical supplies. If you go to the Osiris market, you can buy strong med kits, strong stims, combat med kits, and combat stims. They are a little expensive, but if you don't wanna pay this much for them, you can go over here to the gear printer and you can craft all of these items for 10 times less of the price just by having the items. Like for example, strong stim. If you have these three items and 300K marks, you can craft the item for 10 times less. Osiris also has the best starter assault rifle, which is called the Manticore. You unlock it at level five. It's only nine grand and it's a really, really viable weapon in the early game, even in the mid game. Now, if we head on over to Korolev, which I call the mining, faction they also have a unique item to them as they offer a heavy mining tool this is a mini jackhammer that pumbles away at different ore types and can really help you get ore very very quickly they also offer attachments to your mineral scanner where if you attach this velectasite scanning module to a mineral scanner when you scan the mineral scanner it will ping all velectasite in the area korolev also has the best starter smg which is called the km9 scrapper you get it super early on and it's dirt cheap at 6400 k marks if you also didn't know if you go to any faction and you go to the sell items bin you can put anything you want in there and what you'll receive is k marks and you will earn xp for that faction so if i do the same thing at osiris as you see it's the same exact price and the same exact amount of xp now with the gear printer you have lots of different options for different things to craft if you craft strong med kits and combat med kits, the stronger the med kit is, the less it weighs, the quicker it heals, and the more it heals. So the better you can get, the better for you. For the stims, on the other hand, the stronger they get, including the strong stim and the combat stim, they all weigh the same, but they heal for more and they heal faster. Now, armor obviously has different colors from green, blue, purple, pink, and yellow, but there are different types of armor in each tier. Normal helmet and normal shield both have 700 durability and 17 armor. You have restoration helmet and restoration shield shield this heals your health over time so you wouldn't have to take a stim if you need health if you have this armor on it heals you automatically it does have less durability and it has less armor now if you go with the tactical helmet and the tactical shield it has the same amount of armor and durability as the restoration shield it makes it so when you're running you lose less stamina now if we head on over to the quarters you have different types of generators you can use you have the kmark generator you have the orum generator and you get a supply crate upgrade if you go to the opposite end you go to the income generator generator and as you can see here you have an orum generator you collect it free orum this is the stuff you can buy and you can also get key marks for free to upgrade these items you're going to need certain items and you're also going to need scripts scripts are easy to get from missions but they're even easier to get from jobs so as you see here in a mission we are on part two we get two scripts for completing this mission but if we go over to a job we get eight if we complete this one job so if you're looking for scripts i recommend going and doing job one thing you should also always do is in your inventory you do have a certain amount of slots available as you see i have 128 out of 135 one thing to do to reduce the load is place all of your scripts old currency and key cards in your safe pocket this makes it so instead of having all these spots which are about 10 spots on this would make me run out of room in my inventory so if i put them in my safe pocket it's only 0.7 pounds and i have a ton more room in my inventory now if you're getting ready to launch into a game you don't have to go to this terminal you can press tab and in the bottom right there's an area that says deploy to fortune and three you can press that and you have the same exact menu to deploy for the insurance there is something that people do not know obviously if you put your item in here it takes orum if you die you get the weapon back 24 hours later if you place it in standard insurance you pay 1200 to put it in there but once you die, you get 3,200 payout 24 hours later. Did you know if you place your item in the gear salvage and you go down here, you see it costs 10 orum. If we go right here to this star currency, if you put one token in, it is completely free. You have five tokens, so use them wisely. But if you have a ton of items that you have to insure and you don't want to lose them, I would put a star token in here and you don't use any one thing you can do to reduce the load of orum when you put it in your gear salvage is instead of putting both weapons, this costs 
30 orum. One drop, you can put your scrapper in there, and then when you come back, the scrapper is already insured. And then next drop, you can put your trench gun in there, and then that's also 10. So if you manage to survive the first raid, you can get your second gun for 10 orum cheaper. You save 10 orum just by not insuring both the guns at the same time. Once you do land in, instead of running with your gun out, which uses your stamina fairly quickly, you can take out your knife and you use even less stamina. Now imagine your stamina is running low and you need it back quickly. If you stop moving, it goes up quickly. That is a much quicker way of getting your stamina back. You could try walking. It does increase it very slowly, but if you stop walking, it shoots up super quickly. Now, one thing that's good to know about striders, if you hold your knife and you charge it, this actually one shots the striders, which is very helpful because if you shoot your gun you make a lot more noise one thing that's cool about the ai in this game is if you crouch walk you can more than likely walk right past all the mobs you see you do go very slowly but it's better than being seen by these fools look how close i am and he doesn't even bat an eye look at you cutie so this is how you hang out with some friends and have a nice time another cool thing about this game is if you press t you can use voip which is an in-game communication to talk to your enemies you can either have a really bad experience hello 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 or a really friendly one hello there um hey just doing some mining down here. You stay up there and don't mind me. And we'll be okay. One thing that is also cool is if you go to jungle and you don't have any heals, you have nothing left. You can find these plants right here, these big weird looking circle plants. And if you stand in this area within this circle, they start to blink a little bit. They start to radiate some energy and it heals you up. So if you're ever in need of heals, you have nothing, hop over to the jungle and you can find this plant for some free heals. Also, one more tip that I can't show you guys because I don't have it is if you find a smoke grenade in game, you can throw it at your evac and it makes a huge, huge smoke screen. So it's much harder to be camped when you're evacing. And guys, that's going to be it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed all of the tips that you just received. Use them in your game and do better. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.